Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 7 and 8 of Minami K. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1. Once again, poor Chiaki. Not homeboy, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Many faces. Okay. He's still dressing like a girl, oh my god. Yeah, because, you know, last week he kind of went bra shopping. <laughs> No. Ah, oh, right as we started talking. Oh. Poor Haruka. I'm being like, what the heck did I just walk into? Yeah. Or the one guy who has a crush on you. Oh my god. <laughs> Kinda always has a stupid look on her face, but that's why we love her.
Why don't you just get the fake glasses and stuff that are really good for, you know, lighting and everything? I mean, you know, sometimes they can make you look smart. Sometimes they can make you look sexy. You just never really know. Kinda has them. No. No. Yeah, you don't react to money, candy, whatever. When someone says, oh, I have this, X, Y, and Z, you say no. Big no, no. See, now, even when it comes to that, especially if you do know them, you still have to be cautious about them. You never know. It could literally be anyone that you trust. What? <laughs> it got so interesting to y'all you listening to. Like, excuse me? Do y'all two not even know? Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay, cousin.
Yeah. <laughs> These two miraculously survived. And they both have amnesia. They both got to get hit again. Oh my god. Right. Ask that, you know, they get back together or like they remember stuff, but dang, they can't date anymore. Like, Jesus, it's ridiculous. That she seemed like a badass. Oh my god. And she went to go home and tell her how to cut. Oh my god. No, not really. But we're gonna do it anyway. The way she just cracked her knuckles, like, ugh. That, that you cheat. You cheat. <laughs> I mean, but he won, though. 
It's okay, Chiaki. You don't need to know. Wait. Mhm. Oh, but there is, and it's you. Well, you're talking to her.
Poor Hanuka. Like, she was just trying to get out of the situation, and because someone called her Von Chos, like, it set her off. Poor baby. <laughs> it's like how you have a nickname, and you're always known by that nickname and shit. Or it's a teasing nickname that you secretly hate, and you're like, bruh, I do not want to be called that anymore. And you thank God when people stop calling you that, because it's like, mm. You just, you secretly hate that nickname. Like, my, my nicknames are good. I have several. Um, of course, Deja. That's what my parents both called me. My, my dad calls me several. Um, it, it's funny now because, like, since I am close with some of my subscribers, um, most of you guys either call me Queen, some of y'all call me Deja, and then some of y'all like to call me by my full official name. And I'm like, I get taken back for a moment. I'm like, hello? D what you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? I should only be addressed as Queen Ardesia or Queen Deja. Not my full freaking name, but some of y'all like to call me by my full freaking name because y'all find out my full freaking name. Um, and I think my, my full name, my full first name is only on my Instagram and such. Yes, mommy. What? I call you mom. Yeah, I, I know you call me mom. That's different. Yeah, and my mom calls me mom. That that That's a story in a nutshell, because, you know, I've had friends even also ask me, why does your mom call you mom? And I'm like, you know what? Even till to this day, I still can't really give an answer on that. So, yeah, my mom calls me mom. And then it was even worse. Um, So when my grandma would come to visit us, I, I would literally have to tell my mom, like, okay, you, you gotta have a word, like, you either call mom, mommy, and you call me mom. So then anytime when she would be like, hey, ma, me and my grandma would always respond, but like, yeah, and she's like, hey, yeah, 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 not you, the other one. And I'm like, well, which one is it? Like, let us know before you say something. Give me a sign and stuff, because we're both going to respond regardless and such. But yeah, and, and then something tells me whenever I have a kid guy, a boy, or girl, I'm going to do the same thing. It's just, <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. But yeah, it, it's really freaking hilarious as hell when like everyone either calls me Queen Deja, Queen Deja, or my first <laughs> full name. And I'm just like, did you just call me? <laughs> and I was like, okay, it's okay. But like, you, you got to know me a little bit more. So it's okay. I don't care. But it, like at first, it took me out like for a moment. And I'm like, why the heck is... <laughs> but <it's okay. laughs> now I'm just fine with it. It's just, you know, depending on like how close. And then plus, um, most of my subs um in Japan have also given me like um a nickname as well and such. I don't it was something like almost like sister in a way. But it, it's very I just don't remember what it is. It starts with an N. Something Nike. Nike and such or at least it's like Queen Nike or something like that and I'm like it's the cutest thing ever and, and I'm just like uh but I'm also known as like you know 
regardless, the chick that cries at, like, almost everything and such, the chick who is in love with any freaking, um, character voiced by, like, Archer Sayu. <laughs> I, I think I'm known by a lot, but, like, literally everyone just calls me either Queen Deja, Queen Deja, and stuff, and then, like, anything else. But, yeah! This was super adorable, but the fact is that Haruka, like, you know, had her little bad reputation-ish, her, like, badass moment or being a bad bitch and stuff in middle school. It's hilarious because it's just, you always wonder, was she always, like, you know, the cutesy sweet girl next door who never did anything wrong? But technically, because you know where the rumor is, because you never really know what the hell is going to happen. You know, yeah, 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 she had a little rebellious phase. And the fact that Kana knows, and slowly but surely she's sharing with Tiaki. <laughs> Chiaki probably looking at her older sister be like, is that true? Did you do this, that, the third? And be like, all right, God, no, we need to have a conversation, ma'am. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Alrighty, episode eight in three, two, one, go. It's this guy again. <laughs> Do you want to go? But you like her, though, right? So just talk to her. Yeah, don't be awkward. Damn. Just by staying high. Oh, my God. Well, damn, you can't keep this on a down low, hush, hush. But, I mean, too late, he already knows. Oh, 
No! Oh my god. <laughs> Even though you're soaking wet. You okay? I, I mean, but <laughs> you. <laughs>
Do not pop it. No. Two? Damn, girl. Even I can't do that. Okay, that is some godly technique. That means she'll never show it. <laughs> he, you know, I, I gotta say, he gives me hella vibes to, like, you know when you be listening to them not safe for work ASMRs and such, and, you know, you hear a guy moan and stuff, like, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, the best thing in the world, I'm just saying. Well, how else are we supposed to describe you? <laughs> I'm sorry. This fool just said, starting from today, yes. <laughs> Meaning, you never liked cooking from the beginning. You only liked it because I don't get it. <laughs> this boy got a vivid imagination. He is cool, but he is weird at the same time, too. L look at him. The, uh, the, even the guy in the back is like, what the hell? <laughs> they... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Lord.
she sure is. You're just gonna be fat, and that's not good. You gotta eat in moderation. Ooh, that look good. Oh, a French style. Uh-oh. Did you eat all the rice? But we want it rice. You know, like Haneo from Love Life, who loves the shit out of rice. We want it rice, not bread. Rice is like the bread and butter of foods. It's so good. It it is the staple food. It is yummy. It is good. Like, Not too much, though. <laughs> Somebody help him. I, I mean... It, it, <laughs> oh, shit. oh, my God. Please. Here, not my lunch. It, it, it's wrapped, take off the foil. <laughs> you feel bad for him though. Well, it's sweet that kind of wanted to do that, but you know. Mm. Oh. 
That's a good price, right? 189 yen? I mean, no, 198 yen? That's almost like, what, $2? Does he ever button up his dang shirt? Because, bruh. The ladies and the butt. <laughs> This boy. <laughs> I, I didn't even know what to say about him once again. Um, <laughs> he, he just loves being half naked. There, there's some male anime characters who also fell that way too. Where they're just, they got a bear all and stuff. Now, I mean, like, you know, when it's the older ones, I ain't mad about that. Because, you know, gotta have that fan service. But this dude, he takes the freaking cake. He... <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say about him, because, like, bruh. <laughs> he, he has a wild, a wild imagination. And, I mean, hey, you know, whatever floats your boat, but it's something. It is something. I mean, because, like, oh, my God, I was not expecting all of this. Like, really? And just the fact that he, like, every, after every single freaking scenario, he is half naked. Like, literally. He never has his shirt unbuttoned, I mean, buttoned up. Like, it's up to a certain point, and it's just like, yes, let me just bear all. And you're like, bruh. The straight guys don't even want to see that. Like, such a behind to the side. Mm mm. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, let's just hope he does not get to, well, I mean, that's his character in a way. He, he's always going to undress, so regardless, like, whatever his fantasies are for Haruka, because he is madly in love with her and such, but it's just, you wish that he would just go ahead and make the initiative to try to be friendly with her. Like, yeah, I get it. He was also trying to do that in this episode and such, but because he is so, like, in the head and such, and, and you know, he has his vivid imaginations and ish, boy, it's just like, he is there. And you'd be like, dude, dude, read the room, read the room. Like, you, you're missing your opportunity to at least start starting something with Haruka that could potentially, eventually, not immediately, turn into something with her. But it takes time. Like, Haruka is not going to be like, oh my god, yes, like, I want to jump the bones right here, right now. 
And we can imagine a situation with two daughters and stuff that literally are Kana and Chiaki, even though it's not going to be them. But still, he's always imagining in that. Is it because he thinks that Kana and Chiaki are Har Haruka's kids? And you're like, bruh, no, no. Read the room, my boy. Read the room. It it's just going to take him a little hot minute. Probably by the end of the series. You know, maybe those two might end up dating, but really, who knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes seven and eight of Minami K. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Matcha Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes nine and ten. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.